Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are going to continue our series of review videos for ham study websites, apps, uh, things like that. Um, and today we're going to be talking about uh, hamradiolicenseexam.com. Um, but before we get into that, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click on that little bell icon so you don't miss a video. Uh, check out the Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash everything ham radio, uh, Twitter at K5CLM, and Instagram at everything, ha uh, everything underscore ham radio. And of course, check out the blog at everythinghamradio.com. Uh, this month we are doing a preview or a uh, series of blog posts on Mondays and Wednesdays, uh, highlighting the new and re-elected section managers. Uh, we've got several of them up already and we have probably about four more left, I believe. Uh, should end up the last Wednesday of the month before they take office. So make sure you check that out. Uh, just go over there and check them out and subscribe to the mailing list while you're there. I send out a weekly review email on Saturday mornings of all the blog posts and videos and stuff like that um, every Saturday morning, so you only get basically one email a, a, month, a week from me. Um, anyways, let's get on into the uh, review of hamradiolicenseexam.com. Now, this one is a paid app or a paid website. Uh, whereas the previous reviews that I've had are free. Um, this one um, is a little bit different than the ones before. So let's go ahead and look at the website now. So here you have the main menu. You're going to have uh, several options you can choose from. Uh, log in, create an uh, account. That's going to be the one of the first things that you want to do. You can create a free account and it will give you the first uh, 50 questions, I believe, of each of the technician, the general, and the extra class. Uh, so go ahead and create an account. Um, you'll go in there, you'll put in your information, your name, uh, email address, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, just fill that out and you'll get access to the website. Now, you can put in extra stuff like your birthday. Um, if you have a ham radio call sign already, you can put that in as well. Um, if you're involved in a club, you can put that in there. And of course, they ask you where you heard about the website. So make sure you put in everything ham radio in that spot if you go to it. So once you log in, uh, you'll see other options. Uh, things like choose topics, study, view course, practice exam, your options, uh, things along those lines. Um, and it'll give you the option to purchase as well. Now we're going to go into the choose topics first off. Now what this page will let you do is go through each individual section of what uh, both or all of the technician, the general, and the extra have um, and let you choose which ones you don't want to see. Now I suggest that you leave them all checked, uh, especially to begin with. Um, you can later on after you studied a while, if you have a, a hard time with one certain area, you can go in there and uncheck everything but that and go through it. But as you can see on this page here, um, it has each of the sections, your current score for those sections, and then it has like a graph of questions that are unseen, uh, whether you're weak, whether you're ready, um, whether you have learned it or you need further review on it. Okay, so let's go into the study area. Now, like I said, this this website is a little different than the ones we've had before. This website, or previous ones we've had, basically just have the questions, the correct answers, or answers, and the correct answers somehow um, highlighted or something like that, and then a brief uh, example or reasoning why that is the correct answer. This one is a little bit different. This one is more of a course rather than just studying the, the questions. And you can go through and it'll give you the questions um, and you can answer them. Um, but it also gives you kind of a teaching snippet before it gets to the question. And then you'll go through and you'll answer the question. It'll tell you whether you're right or wrong um, and it'll go from there. Now it kind of gives you a, um, you can 
click on the um, if you click on the wrong one there is an option to show the correct answer or the examples of why they're wrong or rather why they're right um, which is is fairly neat as well um, and you can also see the actual question you can see the text that corresponds with that question and so on and so forth so let's go on to the next area um, and this area is the view course area now with this on this screen uh, you can choose which question pool that you want to study and of course you have to purchase them prior to that um, but you can also set on how how you want it to, to give you questions or the study areas that it has whether you want it to do in, in the order that the course is developed uh, whether you want to go by the question pool um, your scores um, you can change how they're repeated uh, include ones that have been seen or unseen uh, different whether you want calculations or not uh, figures or not um, and things along those lines so if you go into this and you actually show the questions it'll show the course outline basically it'll basically broken down into all of the areas um, of the course and the questions that correspond with those areas as well i'm just going to kind of scroll through this list here briefly i'm not you can look at this website if you'd like i'm just going to show you different areas okay so let's move on to the next area here this one is the top score screen now this screen um, they have well, when i'm recording this I am rank 26,088 and there are uh, 26,093 users uh, that are on this course. Now by the time that you see this video, if you sign up for this, this course or want to check it out, there will probably be more. And as you can see on the bottom right hand or bottom left hand corner, excuse me, you'll see your rank. Now all of the users are ranked you know from one to whatever the last one is and it'll show you what your rank is and if you go to the top scores page you can see all the top 10 uh, who they are the call sign um, what their scores and stuff are uh, how long they've studied when the last time they accessed the course was and if you scroll down to the bottom of the page you'll see where you where your position is in the rankings um, and again, it'll show you your rank, your name, uh, your age if you put your birthday in there, call sign, your club, um, and your ranks of the technician, general, and extra. Now, it has kind of a bar graph where you can see uh, here on the screen where most of these are yellow. Uh, and that means that um, the biggest portion of the questions on each of those three levels of licenses have not been seen. Now, if you look at mine, uh, right here in the middle of the screen, there's a little bitty spot under this technician that is a different color, uh, and that goes for the blue and the red, I believe is what it is. Um, and that will show you the questions that I've answered uh, just on this video, so not very many of them. So this is kind of a general outline of some people that have taken this. Um, and you, you can see each day is listed out uh, from the every day that they logged in or when they didn't study how long they studied for um, how many questions they saw what their percentage was and then whether they have seen it or not seen it or need review um, and just kind of go scroll through this here list here just a little bit as well to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like now let me go down here to another one here um, okay this one if you look there's more of a uh, wider view of, of colors and if you look at the very bottom when this person started most of it is yellow um, and that means that they haven't seen the questions but as you scroll further up to the top the green gets bigger and the yellow basically disappears and you can see the difference on where they are as far as when they were going through this course now the the different colors are uh, whether you learn the area you know every time you take the question um, 
you got it right. Uh, the review is probably is I would imagine something along the lines of sometimes you got it right, sometimes you got it wrong. Uh, whether you're weak on it, you get it wrong more than you get it right, and then unseen is the yellow. So that's basically that on that. One of the things that I want to definitely mention about this this course, though, um, if you are a volunteer examiner, if you already have your license, say you're a general class or an advanced class uh, licensee, and you participate in a, um, a VE team, whether it's the ARRL, whether it's W5YI, or what have you, if you are an active VE and have given three tests um, already, um, and you're wanting to upgrade to extra, rather than having to go out and buy a book and study or study the question pools, they actually offer um, their extra class license course for free for uh, general or advanced VEs that are active VE uh, testers. Um, and basically it's a like a $35 value, I believe. Um, and the only requirements that you have to have, like I said, you have to be already accredited for one of the VE, uh, one of the VE groups, whether it's ARRL, W5Y, etc. Uh, you have to be an active VE and have volunteered in at least uh, three testing sessions in the past 12 months, and you have to currently hold a general or advanced class license. So basically all you have to do, you sign up for the free account, you send them an, e uh, an email, and you give them proof of your credentials, your call sign so they can look you up. You have to mail them a copy of your credential, a copy of your credentials, and a statement that you have participated in at least three VE sessions in the past 12 months, and you gotta include where and when it was. But I think that's awesome um, because as a VE tester or VE volunteer, you, if you are a general or, well, first off, if you're a general, the only thing that you can test for is a technician class license. If you have an advanced license, you can test for uh, the technician and the general. But if you test for, or if you have an extra class license, you can test for all three licenses. And a lot of times uh, people will come in and they will test for a technician and want to challenge the general test or they've been studying the general test as well and they want to go ahead and take that well if if you have say two ve's that are generals and one ve that's extra you can't give the the general test you have to have three uh, extra class ve's in order to give a general or a extra class test. So they are working really hard on trying to give you the opportunity to upgrade to an extra class. So if you're watching this and you are a VE and you only have a general class license or an advanced class license, check these guys, check this website out. Um, the stuff that I've been going through looking at this website looks really awesome. And I love the way that the workflow goes with um, with the way that their course evolves. So let's talk a little bit about prices. Now, the price of these, um, it's, not, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive either. For the technician class license, or for the technician class course, is $24.95 right now, up through uh, the 31st of March. So if you're seeing this and you want to take your test, you have about 15 days to take to sign up for this, and it'll be good for six months, um, which should be plenty of time for you to take your test. Um, the general class license again is good for six months, and it is 29.95 uh, right now on sale, down from 34.95. So you have a five dollar discount uh, on both of these so far. The extra class is $34.95, and that's down from $39.95. So a $5 discount across the board on all these until the end of March. So if you're looking to get your license uh, or want to upgrade, now's the time to do this if you want to take this through uh, hamradiolicenseexam.com. Um, and again, I really like the way that, that this course is laid out. Um, if you get to the end of that six month for, for whatever reason, you have two options. 
one, you can pay a $14.95 fee to extend the course that you have. So let's say you have a technician class, you can extend for $14.95 uh, to get an extra six months for just the technician. But rather than paying $14.95 for just extending the technician, why not pay an extra ten fifteen dollars or whatever it is for the general class license um, 29.95 so an extra 15 bucks and get the general class uh, course as well now when you get the general class course you get a extension a six month extension on both the technician and the general so really the only reason that I see um, of, re of using the 14.95 extension is for um, if you have already bought all three license classes. Um, you shouldn't take more than a month to study for a course, so the six months is plenty of time. And if you, for whatever reason, do buy the next uh, class up and study for both of them. You have six months to study for both of them, so that should be plenty of time to do that. Okay, so one more thing that I want to touch on, and this is for um, any club members out there, any clubs out there that give uh, licensed classes throughout the year. <coughs> one more thing I want to touch on, and this is more for clubs than individuals. Um, if you have, if you are involved in a club and you give a uh, testing session or a class, uh, you know, once, twice a year or something like that. This is a very interesting way of doing it. Now, what they offer in this uh, on this website is they offer a program. It's called Ham It Forward. Now, what this does is it allows you to team up with the Ham Radio um, Exam, HamRadioLicenseExam.com, uh, to give your uh, classes. Now, for Five dollars off, I believe, if you get uh, up to ten people. Okay, so what? How this works is, if you have a minimum of five subscriptions, it's twenty four ninety five a piece, which is the same price it is right now until the end of March. Uh, but this is good for forever, basically. Um, if you have five people that want to take your class, pair up with these. You can purchase a subscription for the students for twenty four ninety five and they can study the questions and the course at home. And in your classwork, rather than drilling over the questions and making it so incredibly boring a lot of the times, you can do the fun stuff. You can do things um, like you know, different projects, learning how to build antennas, how to program radios, how to um, show how RF works, um, and stuff like that. We have a really neat... Um, example of RF when we do our course we take a fluorescent light bulb and we put it next to an HF antenna and key up the radio and ID and as you're talking into the mic the uh, RF that goes out of the antenna will light up the fluorescent light bulb it really shows people how um, that will work and you can do this with I believe just an HT and one of those little curly uh, fluorescent light bulbs um, we've done that before. You touch the antenna to it and key it up and it'll light up the light bulb. So it, it gives a really good example of how RF works. But I'm kind of getting off topic here. Um, anyways, what you do, you know, you they study at home. And during the classes, you can uh, answer questions that they have. You can do a presentation on different things. Um, and kind of work together with that. Now, one of the other things that you can do with this um, in a class, and I think this is a really good idea for anybody that, gets, that does a class. Offer the first year club membership for free. And the other thing they suggest is to assign Elmer to different people in the class. So if you have, say, uh, five, ten people in your club that is willing to volunteer their time to be an Elmer uh, for these new people that are trying to get their license, um, to answer questions for them, to, to help walk them through um, any issues that they have is a great idea. Um, and that I think is pretty much all that I wanted to talk about with this with this uh, website. Um, I really like the way that it's laid out. The course material looks really great. 
They have awesome reviews on ehem.net, uh, ehem I believe is what it is. Um, and you can go on there and, and read all the reviews that, that different people have left. Um, neat little program. I, uh, I, I'm thinking I, this is going to be my new um, way of, of recommending to people uh, to get their license. Uh, just from the little bit that I've seen. And especially if they want to go more than just a technician class. Because the way that this thing works, uh, if you buy all three of them, uh, if you buy the technician, the general, and the advanced uh, extra class uh, courses, um, it builds off one of uh, one another. Rather than learning all the, the technician class uh, study material and then going to the general and then going to the extra, it goes one section of the technician, then the general of the same area builds on that, and then the extra builds on that. And it, it, the questions really overlap, and the topics really overlap the predecessor uh, level uh, class, license class. So the way that the course is laid out, you can study for all three levels at the same time, and it will build off one another, one another. And just when it gets to the point where you will forget a topic or forget an answer, um, it'll show you up a question that involves with that. It's it's all built in their algorithm. So it's really neat and I would really suggest that you do something like this. Like I said, it is $24.95 for the, just the technician class license, um, but you get six months to do it. And a book is $25, $30, bucks, something like that. So um, you can do this on your phone, you can do this on your computer, however you want to do it. Um, it works. Um, but anyways, that is pretty much it. I hope that you liked the video. If you know anybody that is like looking to either get their license or to upgrade, please send them into this video and have them check it out or some of the other uh, videos that I've had the last couple weeks. Uh, I've got one more that will be coming up next Friday uh, where we're going to be talking about the uh, KB6NU No Nonsense Study Guides. Uh, we'll be talking about that next Friday. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to get uh, to see it. Check out the Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash everything ham radio, Twitter at K5CLM, and Instagram at uh, instagram.com forward slash everything underscore ham radio. And of course, check out the blog at everythinghamradio.com. I uh, got a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on over there other than just these videos. So make sure you check that out as well. So I guess that wraps it up. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon. And until next time, y'all, I'll see you later. 73.